Kalian blood sprayed across Brian Porter's face as his fist smashed the Zorgan's skull apart, brain matter splattering on the filthy bar floor. The grizzled human mercenary stood over the twitching bodies, gore dripping from his hands. He spat out a bloody tooth. Another day, another brawl, Brian grunted. The other patrons went back to drinking, used to the violence on this backwater shithole called Zeta-9. Drunken alien scum were always starting shit with each other. Brian slumped into his chair and grabbed his glass of rotgut liquor, the potent alcohol burning his throat. But no amount of booze could dull the pain festering in his soul, the pain of losing his entire squad on a disastrous mission. His brothers and sisters in arms mercilessly gunned down. Their screams still echoed in his ears. He took another long swig, welcoming the oblivion of blackout. Impressive fighting skills, a low voice said behind him, for a human. Brian looked over his shoulder, hand dropping to his blaster. One of those grey-skinned Betazoid freaks stood there, wearing some kind of military uniform. The alien had a hard look in his eyes. What do you want? Brian slurred. I ain't in the mood for conversation. The Betazoid pulled out a chair and sat across from him, uninvited. I want your help. My name is Commander Niran of the Betazoid Expeditionary Forces. My people are facing extinction at the hands of the Krell Empire. We are losing badly. The Krell have superior numbers and firepower. Our only hope is... Let me guess, Brian interrupted. You want to hire the best mercenaries in the galaxy to fight for your lost cause? Nira nodded solemnly. We need warriors of your caliber. Your expertise could turn the tide against the Krell. Brian burst out laughing, a harsh fatalistic sound. Turn the tide? I couldn't even save my own fucking squad. We were the best, and we still got slaughtered. What makes you think I can save an entire goddamn species? The Betazoid's expression hardened. The Krell just blasted our colony on Halcyon Prime into molten slag, millions dead in an instant. We can't let that happen to more worlds. If we don't stop them now, no one will. You're our only hope. He shook his head firmly. I told you, I'm done playing hero. Now fuck off before... Suddenly the bar door exploded inward, and a squad of hulking reptilian aliens stormed in, Krell warriors covered in spiked armor, wielding massive plasma cannons. Panicked drinkers screamed and fled. The lead Krell pointed his cannon at Brian and Niran. Target acquired. Eliminate the Betazoid commander and his human ally. Fuck, Brian cursed under his breath, ducking back behind the bar as plasma bolts sizzled overhead. He couldn't let more innocents die on his watch. Not again. Stealing himself, he nodded at Niran. They burst from cover, Brian's pistol and Niran's rifle blazing. The human merc and Betazoid commander fought back to back, cutting down Krell commandos in a hail of superheated energy. Reptilian bodies hit the floor, smoking holes blasted through their armor. But more Krell flooded in, forcing Brian and Niran to beat a hasty retreat. They charged into the street, shoving through crowds of panicked civilians. Blaster bolts whizzed past as the Krell gave chase. Brian and Niran wove through the chaos, leaping over upturned vendor carts. Brian's eyes darted around, searching for an escape. There, a hovercar, its cockpit wide open. He shoved Niran toward it. Get in! Brian vaulted into the pilot's seat, hands flying over the controls. He hotwired the engine with one hand, blasting, pursuing Krell with the other. The hovercar roared to life and shot into the sky. Krell hoverbikes zoomed after them, filling the air with deadly laser fire. Brian jerked the controls, sending them into a dizzying corkscrew. He threaded the needle, whipping through a snarl of power cables. Two bikes couldn't pull up in time and exploded in a flash of shrapnel and flame. Huh? Nice moves, Niran whooped. His triumphant grin vanished as a Krell bike pulled alongside. The rider leapt from his vehicle, landing on their hover car with an impact that dented the roof. Vicious claws peeled back the canopy like a tin can. The Krell warrior reached in, grappling with Brian, trying to rip him out of his seat. Locked in a deadly embrace, the car plummeted groundward. The vehicle smashed onto a factory roof. Brian and the Krell were flung across the rooftop in a shower of twisted metal. Battered and bleeding, they rolled to their feet, squaring off. 
Jagged talons flashed, a combat knife twirled. The two warriors clashed in a brutal melee, a whirlwind of slashes and stabs. Claws raked Brian's face, his blade bit deep into alien flesh. Lunging inside the Krell's guard, Brian knocked him down and pinned him. He buried his knife to the hilt in the Krell's eye socket. The warrior spasmed and went limp. Niran limped over, looking impressed despite his injuries. The stories don't lie. You humans are the fiercest warriors in the galaxy. So what do you say, Brian? Will you fight for us? Wiping blood and sweat from his eyes, Brian surveyed the devastation. Pillars of smoke rose from the ravaged city. He sighed, a bone-deep weariness in the sound. I'm in, he said at last. But I've got one condition. Out there I call the shots. We do this my way. Their stolen Krell fighter screamed into the hangar bay of the Betazoid battlecruiser, shedding parts in a blaze of sparks. The ship skidded across the deck plating, crushing parked shuttles and slamming bulkhead. By the time it ground to a halt, Brian was already charging down the ramp, a squad of battle-hardened human mercs at his back. A hail of plasma bolts greeted them. The Krell had boarded the cruiser, pouring from breached airlocks in a flood of scales and spines. Brian's men returned fire, sprinting for cover behind cargo modules. The hangar became a storm of light and thunder, as human guns dueled alien blasters. Brian vaulted a crate and shoulder-checked a Krell, slamming it into a stack of barrels. He jammed his rifle under its chin and blew its brains out the back of its skull. Push forward, he roared over the din of battle. Don't give him an inch. The mercs fell in behind him as he plunged into the Krell line, firing from the hip. At this range he couldn't miss. Krell fell with holes blown through their hides. The survivors fell back, retreating into the ship's corridors. After them, Brian bellowed, don't let up. His strike team surged after the Krell, pouring fire down the passageways. The ship's tight confines worked to the humans' advantage, funneling the aliens into kill zones. Krell bodies piled up, the deck slick with blood. A hulking shape loomed out of the smoke, a Krell commander in spiked power armor, energy mace crackling in his fist. The alien brute bellowed a challenge. Brian holstered his rifle and unsheathed his combat blade. He's mine. The two warriors charged, colliding with a crash of impacting metal. The Krell swung his mace in a blazing arc. Brian ducked and countered with an uppercut to the alien's gorget. They traded blows, servos straining, fists thudding into flesh. The Krell seized Brian's head in an armoured gauntlet, claws sinking into his scalp. Spots swam in Brian's eyes as the alien crushed his skull. A plasma bolt took the Krell's leg off at the knee. Niran stood there, rifle smoking. I believe the human phrase is pick on someone your own size, yes? Together, Brian and Niran grabbed the crippled Krell and hurled him through an airlock. The commander's scream dopplered away as he spun into the void, trailing globules of blood. Niran extended a hand, pulling Brian to his feet. I see now why you humans have such a fierce reputation, he said, impressed. I've never seen anyone fight Krell hand to hand before. Brian shrugged. We're full of surprises. Come on, we need to take the bridge. As they strode onto the command deck, the Betazoid bridge crew gaped in astonishment. They'd never seen such raw ferocity and savage violence before. Brian ignored their stares and commandeered the captain's chair. Status report now, he barked. The Krell fleet is still advancing, a censor officer replied. Our ships are forming a defensive line, but we're badly outgunned. Niran turned to Brian. We need to withdraw and regroup. The Betazoids can't win a straight fight against Krell firepower. We have to... Brian cut him off. Stow that defeatist bullshit. The Krell think they've got this all sewn up. Time to show them they're wrong. Open a channel to human fleet command. Niran looked flabbergasted. We can't just abandon the Betazoid battle plan. We need to coordinate our counterattack with their fleet commodore. Fuck their battle plan, Brian spat. They were losing with that plan. We're going to introduce a little chaos into the mix, something the Krell won't see coming, because if there's one thing humans know, it's how to fight dirty. The comlink crackled to life. This is Commander Porter to all human ships. Fang protocol is authorized. Release the slingers. 
Out among the embattled fleets, hangar bay doors yawned open and disgorged dozens of tiny attack ships. Stripped down to little more than cockpits, engines and guns, the slingers knifed toward the Krell battle line. The pilots were the best sticks in the human military, men and women with ice water in their veins and lightning in their fingers. The slingers scattered, juking and barrel rolling in a chaotic, dizzyingly erratic swarm. Krell point defences filled space with flak bursts, but the human pilots slipped through the fire with contemptuous ease. They arced over and under the alien capital ships, pummeling their hulls with plasma torpedoes. The explosions rippled across Krell hulls as the torpedoes found their marks, the warship's vulnerable engine ports. Massive gouts of flame blossomed from breached reactors, burning atmosphere gouted from ruptured compartments as the stricken vessels reeled out of formation. The human fleet pounced on the crippled Krell ships, tearing into their flanks like wolves culling stragglers from the herd. Lances of nuclear fury and withering particle beam bombardments blasted deep into the enemy hulls. Swarms of kinetic rounds shredded armor and spalled into crews. The violence of the assault was staggering. Even the hardened Betazoid bridge officers gaped slack-jawed at the displays. In minutes, the once mighty Krell armada lay shattered and burning, turned to drifting hulks, leaking corpses. Impossible, a Commodore breathed. The Krell outnumbered us five to one. This kind of victory should have been impossible. Niran shot him a withering look. That was your mistake. Thinking you could beat the Krell in a straight slugging match. Humans know when and where to apply force for maximum impact. He nodded to Brian. The grizzled merc stood at the helm, his scarred face illuminated by the flash of weapons fire. He understood that the way to win was to get inside your enemy's decision loop, to hit them where they aren't expecting, in a way they can't anticipate. Brian turned from the displays, meeting Niran's eyes. That's what humans do, he said with a wolfish grin. We find a way. As the human fleet turned the Krell armada into blazing wreckage, the comlink crackled with a desperate transmission from the Betazoid homeworld. This is Beta Z command. The Krell are attacking. Emperor Krennic's dreadnought just jumped into orbit. Planetary defense is failing. We need... The signal cut off in a burst of static. Fuck! Brian slammed a fist on the armrest. Bastard Emperor pulled a fast one on us. Niran's face drained of color. My homeworld, my people, we have to get back now. Brian whirled to the helmsman. Set course for Beta Z, maximum burn, and spin up the QEC. We need to rally every ship we've got. The battered Allied fleet leapt to FTL, racing back to Beta Z at emergency speed. But as they dropped out of warp, a grim sight greeted them. The planet's orbital defense platforms drifted in shattered ruin. Drop pods rained down on the surface like a plague of locusts, disgorging hordes of Krell shock troops, and looming over it all was the Skulltaker, a monstrous wedge of jagged armor bristling with spinal cannons. The Krell Dreadnought was unleashing devastating bombardments, reducing cities to molten slag. That's Krennic's flagship, Niran growled. He's come to finish what he started, to wipe my species from the face of the galaxy. Brian's eyes narrowed as he stared at the Skulltaker, a cold, ruthless plan crystallized in his mind. We're going to board that dreadnought. My commandos and I will cut our way to the bridge and put a bullet in Krennic's skull. Without him, the Krell will fall apart. Niran squared his shoulders. I'm coming with you. This is my home, my fight. I won't let you face that monster alone. Brian clasped the Betazoid's hand. Shoulder to shoulder, then. Let's gut this son of a bitch. As Niran's forces deployed to the surface to hold the line, Brian led the boarding action. Breaching pods punctured the dreadnought's hull, and the human Betazoid strike team plunged into the breach. They stormed down the Skulltaker's cavernous halls, a maelstrom of jabbing blades and hammering guns. Squads of Krell honor guards charged to meet them, fang-crested helmets snarling. The air crackled with the snap of their disruptor rifles. Brian and Niran scythed into them. Plasma sword and power glaive flashing in murderous arcs. Krell fell in sprays of blood and shattered armor. Black-clad figures dropped from the shadows. Imperial assassins, gene-crafted killers with monomolecular claws. They danced a lethal ballet, blurring into motion. 
Brian ducked a scything talon swipe and rammed his blade through an assassin's neck, putting his whole weight behind the thrust. Niran seized another by the head in his crushing grip, pulping its skull with a flex of his fingers. The commandos battled their way to the throne room doors, a towering portcullis of neon-veined obsidian engraved with eldritch runes. Brian and Niran shared a look, then kicked the doors off their hinges. They strode into the throne room, weapons leveled. Emperor Krennic rose from his throne, a hulking warlord in jagged black battleplate. His eyes glowed molten red, flickering with malevolent hunger. He hefted a crackling energy glaive, its edge shimmering with disruptive power. Miserable primates, Krennic sneered, your kind are like insects to us. We have snuffed out thousands of fledgling races, and yours will be just one more. You want to finish this, you genocidal prick? Brian snarled. Let's fucking finish it. He unslung his rifle and drew a thrumming power sword. As Brian charged the Emperor, Niran sprinted for the reactor controls, desperate to sabotage the ship before it could fire on the planet again. Krennic met Brian's first slash with a contemptuous parry, then slammed a counterblow into the human's ribs with piledriver force. The impact sent Brian skidding across the deck, bones crunching. The Emperor seemed to flow around Brian's attacks with preternatural speed, his glaive cleaving the air in humming arcs. Its disruptive edge sheared through deck plates, leaving glowing scars. But Brian gave as good as he got, hacking and ripping with the fury of a man possessed. He battered at Krennic's guard, power fields sparking and clashing. The Emperor rained down overhand chops, beating Brian to his knees. The human sword spun away, clattering to the deck, but as Krennic reared back for the killing stroke, Brian surged up inside his guard. He drove his fist into the warlord's throat, staggering him back. Then, in a lightning-fast move, Brian hooked his foot behind Krennic's ankle and wrenched with all his strength. The Emperor crashed to the deck like a toppled tree, losing his grip on his glaive. Brian scooped up the fallen weapon and leapt astride the Emperor's chest. With a roar of primal hate, he rammed the glaive down through Krennic's armoured thorax, the disruptive blade punching into the deck below and into the reactor core. Warning klaxons blared as the core's containment fields flickered and died. Do you think you've won, ape? Krennic spat, shuddering as the glaive pinned him like an insect. You only delay the inevitable. All your tech, all your power, and you still went out like a punk. Brian ripped the glaive free in a shower of sparks. Delay this, asshole. Explosions rocked the throne room as the reactor began to melt down. Niran sprinted back from the control console, eyes wide. We have to go now. They pounded down the disintegrating halls, leaping gouts of flame and clouds of shrapnel. The hangar bay was a storm of fire and debris. They hurled themselves into the nearest Krell evacuation shuttle and punched the emergency launch. The pod rocketed away from the skull taker a millisecond before the dreadnought exploded. A miniature sun ignited, so bright it seared their vision even through the pod's blast shield. The Krell fleet, caught at point-blank range, vanished in a maelstrom of light and fury. Krennic's reign of terror was over. Brian and Niran's escape pod smashed into the war-ravaged ground of Beta Z, carving a furrow through the blasted soil. The hatch blew open, and they staggered out, coughing in the smoke. But instead of enemy fire, they were greeted by the sound of cheering. A crowd of Betazoids surged forward, their faces alight with joy. The humans, they cried out, the heroes of Beta Z. Brian and Niran exchanged a shocked glance as the throng engulfed them, lifting them up on their shoulders. News of the Krell Emperor's death had spread like wildfire. With their leader fallen, the invaders' will to fight had crumbled. Across the planet, the Betazoid resistance had risen up and driven the Krell into full retreat. The war was over. Betazd was free. In the capital city, Brian and his human warriors stood tall on a grand stage, thousands of Betazoids packing the amphitheater. A great roar went up as Niran stepped forward, a glittering medallion in his hands. Brian Porter, he intoned, his voice booming across the assembly. In recognition of your valor, your sacrifice, and your unbreakable warrior spirit, I bestow upon you the highest honor of the Betazoid people. He draped the medallion around Brian's neck, 
the metal cold and heavy on his chest. Brian swallowed hard, humbled beyond words. He had never fought for accolades or glory, only to protect the innocent, to safeguard those who could not fight for themselves. But just as the cheers reached a crescendo, a Betazoid runner dashed onto the stage. He rushed to Niran's side, whispering urgently in his ear. Brian watched as Niran's face drained of color. The Betazoid commander turned to the crowd, his expression grim. I have grave news, he said, his voice heavy. A Krell splinter fleet, loyal to their fallen emperor, has set course for Earth. They mean to exact revenge by annihilating humanity's homeworld. So a shocked gasp rippled through the amphitheater. Brian's fists clenched at his sides, a cold fury welling up inside him. Those Krell bastards, hadn't they spilled enough blood? Hadn't they taken enough innocent lives? He strode forward, his boots ringing on the stage. Give me a ship and my men, we'll take the fight to them. We'll make them pay for... But Niran held up a hand, cutting him off. No, Brian, this is our fight now. Brian stared at him, uncomprehending. Niran met his gaze steadily. The Betazoid fleet is already moving to intercept the Krell. We will defend your homeworld with our lives, as you have defended ours. He grasped Brian's forearm, warrior to warrior. Your people have fought long enough, you've bled enough, now let us stand for you. Brian's throat tightened. He wanted to argue, to insist that Earth was his responsibility. But he saw the resolve in Niran's eyes, the unwavering determination. And he understood. This wasn't about debts or duty, it was about brotherhood, about a bond forged in the crucible of war. Give em hell, he said roughly, clasping Niran's arm in return. The Betazoid ships caught the Krell fleet at the edge of Earth's solar system. The two armadas clashed like titans, plasma cannons, and kinetic lances flashing between their hulls. The void lit up with the glare of a thousand suns as ships died in brief, violent fireballs. The Betazoids hurled themselves at the Krell with selfless fury, shielding Earth with their own broken hulls. They rammed and pounded and blasted, sacrificing themselves to stop the onslaught. One by one the Krell ships fell, torn apart by the unrelenting assault, until only one enemy dreadnought remained, its shields battered but holding, its weapons still spitting death. It angled in toward Earth, preparing to unleash its city-killing firepower on the vulnerable planet below. Brian watched from a viewscreen, his fists white-knuckled on the console. The Betazoid fleet had been reduced to a handful of crippled ships, their weapons exhausted, their crews spent. They had nothing left to throw at the Krell juggernaut. Nothing except... Niran? Brian breathed, horror dawning as he saw the Betazoid flagship accelerate on a collision course. No! The dreadnought loomed before Niran's ship, filling his viewscreen, its hull pitted and scarred. He whispered a final prayer to the gods of his ancestors and gripped the helm. Impact! The two ships merged in a cataclysmic eruption of plasma and debris. A miniature sun flared, so bright it seared Brian's eyes even through the screen. When the glare faded, only drifting wreckage remained. On Earth, Brian sank to his knees, his head bowed, his shoulders shaking. A single tear rolled down his cheek. You crazy blue bastard, he whispered hoarsely. That was my fight. It should have been me. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.